everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at the Freemax Firelube 2 mesh tank. This is an upgraded version from the original Freemax Firelube mesh tank. <laughs> Um, they've actually had two. They had the Freemax Firelook tank, mesh tank, and then they had the Freemax Mesh Pro. Um, the Mesh Pro was actually one of my favorites. I did like the Firelook, uh, the first one, but they've actually enhanced now the, the um, tank and the coil, so this is actually the version two. So um, let's go ahead and go down, take a look at it, then we'll come back up, pros and cons, and all my thoughts on the Freemax Firelook 2 mesh tank. Okay, so here we are with the Freemax Fire Loop 2. This is the tank that takes the coils with the new T fiber cotton in it. So this is what it looks like when you first get it. This is the packaging. I currently have it in the Graffiti Space Black. It comes in 13 different colors. You've got metal colors, which are solid colors, and then you've got um, six different graffiti colors as well. It does have some stickers here, and it tells you what is included in the kit right back here, which you can see. It's gonna tell you some information about that right there. But we're gonna go over all that, so don't worry about it. So we'll go ahead and open this up, and the first thing we're gonna see, of course, is going to be the tank so I'm just going to put this aside real quick we've got the extra coil in here you've got some silica gel please do not eat you've got a, an extra bubble glass okay so here's the extra bubble glass and then you get some extra o-rings for the tank both of the bubble glasses do hold five mils of e-liquid and then inside this, this part here, which is actually the packaging, is also your instruction manual on how to fill it. So it does give you some instructions right there. Really, really easy, but we're gonna go over all that information. Okay, so included in the kit, you're actually, are included with the tank, you're gonna get a coil already installed, and then you're gonna get this extra coil here. It does say Freemax there, it says TX1 mesh right there, and it does say 0.15 ohms. This is good between 40 to 90 watts. This is the single mesh coil. The cotton that they're actually using on the inside of this is 90% T-fiber and 10% organic cotton. So that's really, really nice that they're actually coming out with this new cotton. And then of course, you've got your wicking channels right there. So I'm going to put that aside and then we'll take a look at the tank. Now, first thing on the tank is you've got this nice 810 drip tip. The 810 drip tip being that you have the O-rings here, it's not a standard 810, but it does have the O-ring on the inside. So you can use a standard 810 drip tip as well. Okay, so you can actually use any of your 810 drip tips because it does have the o-ring here and it's got the o-ring actually on the drip tip itself so that to me is definitely a plus that they did that so you it's it makes it a little bit more versatile that way so it does have that 810 with the o-rings or a standard 810 it is top fill you find the red dot and you just push back and this is a slide fill top fill and it does hold five mils of e-liquid and you just snap it back like this on the bottom you've got some airflow you've actually got two airflow slits one on each side whatever you do to one will happen to the other and it is on a stopper and it does have a really good tension on the back it does say freemax and it's got your serial number it does have a protruding 510 but I, it's not protruding a lot so i would definitely not recommend anything like this on a hybrid even if it did have one protruding to be honest with you Okay, and then to open it up, all you do is just unscrew the base like this. When you do so, this is where you can actually change out your, your glass if you want to for the other bubble glass, or you can just leave it on there. This is the coil that is actually installed, which is the TX2 mesh coil. This is actually the dual mesh. So there you go. There's the inside of that one. And this one, it does say tx2 mesh this is the 0.2 ohm resistance coil this is good between 40 to 80 watts and it also says freemax and that's what it looks like and it's very very similar to the first one they are about the same size and diameter and everything except for one does have the single mesh and one does have the dual both of them have the 90 percent t fiber and 10 percent organic cotton installed so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go ahead and use the dual coil whenever you're installing these coils you always want to turn it the opposite way until it clicks into place Once you hear it click into place, then you can go ahead and screw it down. Then you can go ahead and tighten it up because that way you know that it's threaded into place. I get a lot of questions asking why is their tank leaking and the majority of the time it's because the coil was not um, threaded correctly. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put a little bit of e-liquid right here. I'm gonna put some anywhere that I see some cotton just to help it saturate a little bit more. 
And then I'm gonna put some on the inside, not too much though. Just a little bit, just to get it saturated. There we go. And then we're just gonna go ahead and plug this right into the base as such. And we're gonna fill it. Now, whenever you have a new coil, I always recommend, even though you're gonna be priming up your coil, always let it sit about five to 10 minutes to make sure that it gets saturated really, really nice. And you never wanna get a dry hit. You do wanna make sure that your coils are nice and saturated. So again, this does hold five mils of e-liquid. And I'm gonna get our, get you a close, closer view of this tank because this is the graffiti tank. So I love, love, love the colors of the graffiti. This is actually the same tank that is included with the Twister Vape uh, pen style that I did do a review. This is the same type of graffiti that they have for those. If you notice, here it is with the graffiti in all its glory. And it's the exact same tank that was on that one, except for the one that I have was green. This is actually the black one. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for the tank. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a mod. Then we're gonna take it up. We're gonna vape on it, pros and cons. And I'll give you all my thoughts on the Freemax Fire Luke 2 mesh coil tank. Okay, so here we are back on top with the Freemax Fire Luke 2 mesh tank. Before anything, I'm gonna go ahead and have a vape. I do have it fully wide open. And let's go ahead and do this. Currently I have this at 62 watts. This is good between 40 to 80 watts, but I do have it at 62. I can bump it up. It's got really, really good flavor. I know exactly what this e-liquid tastes like. It's actually my e-liquid, the Royal Cheesecake by Queen, the Queen line from Wendy Vapes. And it's, I'm tasting every single nuance of the flavor. You can bump it up, it still enhances the flavor. Your vape does get warmer though. So depending on the type of vape that you like, if you like a cooler vape, you wanna go at a lower wattage. If you like a hotter vape, then you're gonna to wanna to raise it up. I currently have it at 74.1. Because I can't be even ever, I don't know why. But um, yeah, so that's that one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and have five quick pulls on it to show you if it keeps up. Keeps up just fine. I haven't lost any flavor. It's keeping up really, really good, just like the original Fire Luke. Now, the coils that it does come with are compatible with only the Freemax Fire Luke original tank. They are not compatible with the Mesh Pro or anything else. So you can interchange these coils if you like these coils better and you do have the original Fire Loop, you can use it with that one, but you can't use it with any other tank. Now there are a total of six coils that they do offer with this. Of course, they only come with the two, which is a single and the dual, but they do have four others available. Um, I actually found them on, the only place I found them right now is Vapor DNA where you can buy the, the coils. They do come in a pack of five, which is awesome, but you can purchase them separately. Now, um, right now I've seen the price of these between anywhere from $16.95 to $20. So they're really, really inexpensive, but they have that good mesh flavor. They are compatible with other mesh tanks out there, but I really like the flavor of this. Freemax, the Freemax Pro was actually one of my all time favorite mesh tanks ever. So this does, compare to that very much, especially with these newer coils. The original Fire Luke, um, tank it they had it had amazing flavor it just had a smaller e-liquid capacity which i wasn't a fan of this does hold five mils of e-liquid so i do like it a lot better you can get this with either the graffiti design or you can get it with those solid colors it's totally up to you they do have a total of 13 different colors seven of them are graffiti six of them are the regular flat colors and um, not flat but regular colors and um the I honestly, there's only one real con to this tank for me. It's the same con that I had before with this tank, um, with the twister, uh, the twister kit, um, and that's the top fill. I I love the fact that it's easy to to use. You just find the red dot there and you push it back. The only problem is, is that it does not lock into place. And that to me is a con for any top fill that is a slide that does not have a locking mechanism. I don't, I, I don't like that because it is 
it's not easy because it is kind of, you know, it does resist the push. It is a really nice tension, but you can still accidentally swipe it open in my opinion. So I would have liked them to actually update the top slide fill to include some sort of a locking mechanism, whether or not it goes into place and then slides down, you have to lift it up to move it or something like that where you can actually hear it click where it locks. That's the only con to this tank that I have. Everything else to me is definitely a pro. This tank I actually got in my vape tins, so I am um, actually reviewing it because I got it anyway. So might as well, right? So yeah, so I do like that. If you're looking for a mesh tank, this is a really, really good flavor, flavorful mesh tank. Um, I have no qualms about it. Both coils hold up. I've already gone through the single coil. The only thing with the single coil is being that it's got that big hole because it is a single coil or a single mesh coil, um, it's got a lot of airflow. So being that it's got a lot of airflow, it can tend to be loud or tunnel like. Um, so you would have to cut down the airflow just a little bit to give it more of a solid or more of a smooth sound like, like that. Now this one is also a little bit loud, but not as loud as the other one. The other one is, and I don't mind it because I actually love the flavor on the single coil. It's just that I only got the single coil and the dual coil. I've already used the single coil. I'm now onto the dual coil because I did interchange them while I was testing them. And I do prefer the dual coil, but that's just my opinion. Um, that's what I usually like better and that's what I usually vape better. Now the 90% um, T fiber and 10% um, organic cotton, to me, I really honestly cannot taste the difference. I won't lie to you. Um, I can't taste the difference, but they're supposed to hold up a lot better. Now my e-liquid has minimal sweeteners in it, so my coils last and last and last and last and last. They never really gunk up because the fact that it doesn't have a lot of sweetener. If you are vaping something with a lot of sweetener in it, your coils will not last as long um, as they would if it had minimal sweetener. So the more sweeter your juice is, or your e-liquid is, the more sweeter that your e-liquid is, the less um, longevity you're gonna have with your coils. But that's with any coils, not just these, with any coils. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. 24 millimeters in diameter, it fits just about everything. I have not found an Addy that it does not, or I have not found a mod that it does not fit. You can put it on anything. You can even, even put it on vape pen styles that at least if it's 24 millimeters in diameter or bigger, it will fit on it. So I do love that about it. And the, another huge pro to this is the fact that you can either use the A10s with the O-rings or any 810 compatible drip tips. So that is another huge pro that I did almost forget to mention, but I did mention it, so there it is. But yeah, so that's it for my review. If you like the review, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe, bleh, 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 the subscribe button. And to, don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you're notified anytime that I upload a new video. And I will see you in the next one.